Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, guys, I want to go over one brief thing in the Develop Module Toolbar, uh, which is actually unique and new to Lightroom 4. Uh, everything else in the Develop Module Toolbar is actually the exact same thing as the Library Module Toolbar, so we don't need to go over that stuff. But let's hit T to bring up our toolbar if you haven't already. And uh, we have an option now for soft proofing. We can actually get to soft proofing by clicking that button right there, or just from our standard view hitting S. And S is the shortcut that's going to take us to our proof preview. Now what soft proofing allows you to do, and this is really more for those of you that are advanced as far as color profiling and, and setting up your color profiles for printing goes, because that's kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial series. So for those of you that have color profiles set up, it allows you to set up a proof preview with a specific profile set. And so it's going to give you basically a preview of that profile in print form. Okay, so we can set our intent as well as simulate paper and ink. Now I only have the two default ones loaded, which is just the sRGB and Adobe RGB loaded because since installing Lightroom 4, we haven't bothered doing anything else basically. But uh, once you have your other profiles loaded, you can select them from this list or choose other and choose a profile specifically. Now once you're done with that, you can create a proof copy, which is going to create a virtual copy of that image with those proof settings loaded. So this is just another way that Lightroom 4 basically helps us get more accurate colors directly from our develop module. All right, guys, now everything else in our toolbar works the exact same way as it does in the library module. We have our views over here on the left side. We can add additional things to our uh, toolbar just by adding them from that right side menu to be able to view and modify additional options as well. So that's it for the develop module toolbar. Let's go on to the next tutorial.